Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Thursday. Okay guys, so I said this in the earlier videos, but I'm so sorry that we didn't have an OC recap today. I'm actually going to be leaving, so I'm recording everything extra early for you guys. Um, I am sorry, but we do have a lot of exciting content coming up. That is why I'm going out of town and I can't wait to share that with you. If you guys are part of our members only, we dropped the vlog, so definitely go check that out. You don't wanna miss it. But in the meantime, we're back to talk about this moment of twinning between Kyle and Morgan Wade, where it's just getting a little bit more suspicious. And Morgan's ex is speaking out again. So before we jump into all the YouTube things, smash that like button, show some love, and let's get right into it. All right, guys. So Morgan Wade's ex, Katie Cannon, um, she shared what annoyed her the most about her communication with Kyle Richards and Teddy Mellencamp on social media when Morgan and Katie were still together. And she claimed that Morgan likes older women. Now, Kyle, who is currently separated from her husband, Mauricio, has denied rumors that her and Morgan are romantically involved, despite fans continued speculation but she spoke to david yontif who we're friends with and has his amazing podcast behind the velvet rope katie shared her first reaction to seeing her name in the press amid reports of kyle and morgan's relationship she said i felt just the weight of the world Ugh. it did not feel good and it was just awful and a lot of tears and a lot of emotion behind it but then after i did my initial interview i just felt like a weight was lifted off me then things got better. I've literally blocked keywords about their relationship on all of my social media platforms. Wow. Katie's so pretty, by the way. I mean, they all are. Katie then shared that she would get annoyed in her previous relationship when Morgan would communicate with Kyle and Teddy via social media. It annoyed me how she was so, I don't know, she would respond to their comments if they were tagged in something, Morgan would reshare it. And she just never did that with me. So I would get my feelings hurt. I felt it was because they had more followers than me, millions, whatever followers. And that's why she was like kind of showing off their friendship. But when asked if Kyle and Morgan are dangling a carrot for fans, Katie answered, they are sharing photos like very cheek to cheek, selfies on vacation, and they're on vacation together all the fucking time. Kyle and Morgan, they're kind of like fueling the fire, right? As opposed to trying to put it out. Um... I've been saying this since day one. I feel like that's exactly what they're doing. I think that they're feeling the fire. Whatever works for you, go ahead. I don't understand it, but I also don't have to. So I'm going to leave it at that. But wait, 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 wait. She, moving on, she said that she refused to watch Kyla Morgan's steamy music video. And she asked her friends not to send her anything about it. She also claimed that Morgan likes older women saying, I've seen some of her exes and they're kind of all over the place, older women. That's all I know specifically. But despite being a previous fan of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, Katie claimed that she won't watch the upcoming season. Now, if you guys don't know Katie's background, she starred on Temptation Island and she agreed with the points of Bethany Frankel's reality reckoning. And she also alleged that she and her castmates were often prevented from eating. She also suggested that producers put the stars through psychological warfare, encouraging alcohol while pretending to be their friends. Like producers thought, oh, you are holding back. That was always their thing, you know? Oh, you're not being real. No, I am being real because a real me wouldn't just start making out with this person. So she did call that out. And I've seen this on Love Island. I've seen this on Temptation Island. I've seen this from so many different reality shows where people are starting to agree more and more with everything that Bethany has said. And there are a, a lot of people are saying that this reality reckoning doesn't have a whole lot of momentum at the moment. But at the end of the day, if you really break it down, they are collecting information and collecting reality stars to ultimately be like, Okay, what is your story? They're building a case right now. Brian Freeman, Mark Garagos, the attorneys who are involved, that is absolutely what they're doing. They are building a case with probably over at this point, a hundred different reality stars. And now maybe they might not be as big as like NeNe Leakes or Bethany Frankel or Lisa Vanderpump or Portia Williams, or I can go down the line, Kyle Richards, 
but they're still building a case. And if I were NBC, I would be a little bit nervous about the case that they're building, even though NBC is a um, huge media conglomerate and they have hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars to back them up. Once all of these people come out of the woodwork and they start sharing what they feel like they've been through, how do you really respond to that without making a change? And all Bethany Frankel right now is asking for is for a change. Even though people are like, shut up, Bethany. We don't want to hear from you anymore. We think that you are just looking for attention. What? And Bethany has welcomed it. She's like, you want to tell me to shut up? You think that I'm looking for attention? Go for it. I don't care. I don't owe you anything. The best PR, there's no such thing as bad publicity. So at this point, I don't even need a publicist because if you guys love me, then great. If you guys love to hate me, then great. You guys are still talking about it. And that is still giving momentum to the movement. Boom. All right. My next thing. So this part. Now, <laughs> photos came out of Kyle Richards where she was caught wearing Morgan Wade's pants as she skipped Mauricio's da Dancing with the Stars performance. But she did ask fans to vote for him. Plus, he also blamed his dancing mishap on the Beverly Hills trailer. So Kyle is denying rumors of a romance with Morgan Wade, who is 16 years younger than her, but she can't deny that she has been in her pants. As photos of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star in Morgan's jeans hit the web, she supported her husband that she separated from, Mauricio Umansky, on Instagram rather than in Dancing with the Stars ballroom. Mauricio admitted that he was thrown off by the season 13 trailer during week two as he danced the Foxtrot on week three. Right before the dance, the trailer for The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills came out about my marriage and my kids were in the audience and I wasn't addressing it with them. That's what he told Emma on the October 10th episode. But as fans may have seen, Mauricio also addressed the matter on his Instagram story after last week's dance saying, I missed a big ch chunk of my dance, but I kept it going. And it was really the votes that kept me in. But in the sneak peek of the Beverly Hills season 13 trailer, you saw where Kyle and Mauricio seemingly accuse one another of both having affairs as Morgan is seen getting Kyle's initial K tattooed on her body. Although Mauricio may have been distracted in midweek two, he won the judges over during week three. Now, I know why last week was so frustrating for you because you can dance like that. You are very smooth. That's what Carrie Ann said to him. It was just jam packed with elegance. Sell some real estate. I'm not flirting. I'm just talking. And Derek Huff also added that the dance was a massive improvement. But while Kyle was not present for Mauricio's last performance, she did take to her Instagram story to encourage her fans and followers to vote for him. Meanwhile, in another Instagram post, Kyle was called out for wearing the same pants as Morgan. This came, and I'm going to share it with you guys right now, from Face Reality 16. Seems pretty clear the two photos in the first slide were taken a day apart. Um, let's get to the photos. So wait, wait, wait. You guys, I mean, sometimes men and women wear each other's clothes. My friend used to come over and wear my shirt sometimes because he didn't have a lot of clothes to wear to school. So I would let him wear my clothes. I know that's not the case for Kyle and Morgan, but sometimes girls like to wear each other's clothes, but confirmed Kyle is getting in Morgan's pants. Face Reality 16 said, seems pretty clear. The two photos in the first slide were taken a day apart. Um... Yeah, I don't know what to say about this. Guys, I want to hear what your opinions are. Go ahead and comment below. Definitely let me know what you think. And more importantly, before you go, don't forget to smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And we'll see you next time. Love you guys. Bye.